Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you my everyday glowy makeup routine. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible because there are a lot of steps, okay? And don't judge me, it's an art. First step is always going to be skincare. I struggle with hyperpigmentation and discoloration. As you can see, these darker spots around my face here. I really had to learn to simplify my skincare routine because less is really more when it comes to having healthy skin. So I just use this Korean brand Anwa for most of my skincare because the ingredients are all natural. And literally ever since I started using these products, my skin has looked so glowy and good even before putting on makeup. I use their pore deep cleansing foam first. This helps to remove all the dirt and grime from my face. Believe it or not, I have really dry skin, so it was hard finding a cleanser that didn't dry my face out, but this one doesn't have any moisture stripping chemicals. It actually adds more moisture and keeps my skin feeling silky smooth and refreshed, which we love. And I've been obsessed with these disposable face towels ever since I saw a YouTube short where someone showed how much bacteria is on a regular towel, even if you clean them regularly so i've been using these clean skin club towels and my acne problem has improved significantly so after that i use the anwa dark spot correcting serum now this is the stuff right here this is essential if you have an uneven skin tone like me now look at my skin before one month ago before i started using it it's crazy right i used to be so self-conscious about my skin because of these darker spots and i still have some but it's gotten so much better it made me feel a lot more confident going out like outside without makeup and i forgot to show this next product up close but the last step of my skincare routine is this moisturizer by the ordinary i like my skin to be nice and bouncy before applying my makeup so it looks flawless period okay so finally getting into the makeup first thing i do is lay down my brows soap brows are trending right now which i'm so happy about because i hated doing my brows the way people used to do them my brows used to take forever like that used to be the part i dreaded when i when it came to doing my makeup and i never even liked them <laughs> i only did them because they were trending which is kind of sad low-key but yeah now i just use this brow soap and i actually forgot where i got this specific one but i also use the patrick ta brow shaping wax and that one's really good too but i ran out so it's and it's kind of expensive so i'm gonna have to wait until payday to get some more but for now this one works just fine brows really frame your face and can make a huge difference in your overall look for me Keeping them nice and tidy and well-shaped makes a big impact, especially when I brush them upwards. They just look nice and neat. So next is primer time. Honestly, my favorite part, since I bought this priming foam from Milk Makeup, I feel like a kid playing with bubbles in the bathtub. <laughs> it's important to find the right one for your specific skin type, and this one is light but keeps my makeup locked in place all day, baby. After that, I'm gonna go in with the best foundation out there right now. I'm telling y'all, it's the House Labs by Lady Gaga, and this is the shade 370 Medium Neutral. Lady Gaga did her big one with this formula. I love the coverage. You guys saw how I didn't even put that much on, yeah? Yeah, I use this foundation brush with a really hard flat surface because that really packs my foundation in getting it nice and even I like to ensure that my match is spot on if it looks perfect on my neck It should look perfect on the rest of me. So for my contour. I use this L'Oreal palace Oh did I say palace? L'Oreal Paris product called Infallible in the shade Coco. And I swear this is your sign to stop doing your makeup the traditional way and just play around with what works for your face. Because just like my brows, I used to try to contour my face the way everybody else did. And that did not look good on me. So where I'm contouring my face may not look good to you, but I've been loving my base ever since I switched it up. I use the same type of dense brush for my contour on my cheeks, forehead, and chin, but it's not the same one that I use for my foundation, if that makes sense. So I know it looks like the same one, but it's not because that wouldn't even blend well. The darker product would just take over. So yeah, not the same brush, but the same type of brush. <laughs> I probably over explained that. I do that a lot. Then I use a smaller, less dense brush for my nose and then I put the contour right down the middle of my nose because when I add my concealer I like for it to be on the sides of my nose so basically reverse contouring I also go back over my other contoured parts with the lighter brush to really blend it out I use a beauty blender for my concealer because I like it sitting on top of my foundation versus packed into it I use the wet and wild foundation as my concealer this is the shade soft beige I like to use foundation as concealer because in my opinion, it does the same thing. If you just get a lighter shade in a foundation, you get more in the container because you guys see how small most of the concealer bottles are and they're usually more expensive. So that's a hack for all of you. I love using a much lighter concealer because it really brightens my under eye, a little bit of my cheeks, my forehead, and it really helps to carve out my face. 
Ever since I started losing weight, I noticed that my under eyes are kind of sunken in, so that's why I use so much product under them. This part is so satisfying to me because it's when you can really start to see everything come together. Like, yes, my arms hurt from blending so much, but it's it's worth it in the end, you know? And y'all see what I mean by reverse contouring my nose, bringing the concealer up to the sides of my nose, making it appear smaller. The beauty of makeup. I like to play around with the contouring and concealer as I go. And I don't apply any more product, but I use the excess from my contour brush to bring back the color to my cheeks and like in areas where it might be a little too bright. Also, I don't fully blend out my concealer right here because I want to set my face before. I used to not use setting spray because I was scared the liquid would melt my makeup away, but I just didn't know how to use it. I want to get my hands on the one size setting spray because I see that all over TikTok and it works so well. But for now, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetic Setting Spray and this one is really good too. I spray a decent amount all over my face and at first I used to blend it straight away because I was dumb and I thought that's how it worked, but after realizing no more you have to let it sit and wait for it to dry before blending and it makes all the difference really so now that that's dry i go ahead and blend it out with the excess from my first brush the foundation brush and you can see how nice and bright my under eye is and how bouncy my cheeks look at this point i kind of look like a shiny christmas tree though due to all the moisture and i don't like that so to mattify my skin i use one of my favorite makeup purchases in the entire world which is the airbrushed pressed powder by hourglass cosmetics I have a love-hate relationship with TikTok because I'm constantly being influenced to buy makeup products I see other people use. I normally wouldn't spend a lot of money on one product, but as y'all can tell, this is worth every single penny. I have been using Miss Girl, okay? I know a lot of people put liquid blush on before they use a pressed powder, but I actually like the pop of shiny color, but only when it comes to blush on my cheeks. I feel like it really ties everything together. It's all about balance. Of course, I use the orange liquid camo blush from e.l.f. I made a YouTube short showing me using this, and it got so many views. It did really well. Orange is my go-to color. It looks so good for my skin, and I never would have thought that, actually. I used this light blush brush, and I started by patting it a little above my cheeks very gently bringing it upwards to snatch my face because i have a very chubby like i have very chubby cheeks and if i put the product lower it drags my face down and i don't want granny cheeks okay i love the coverage of this product and how pigmented it is like do y'all see that but yeah then i go and do like a sweeping motion and bring it a little everywhere else on the side of my face next are the little details that really seal the deal the cherry on top if you will I use an eyelash curler, but I need a new one because this one is all crusty dusty because I always forget to clean the mascara from the application before. Don't judge me, okay? I know you'll probably do that too. Oh my god, have y'all ever seen those heated eyelash curlers? I'm so surprised I haven't bought one yet. Those things seem to be game changers. I have really short lashes and straight lashes, so it's hard to curl them even with the lash curler, but I still try because, you know, I'm just a girl. This mascara is the real winner here, though. This is the Maybelline Sky High Waterproof Mascara, and I really like the way that it lengthens my lashes while also giving hella volume. I kind of gave up on mascaras when they claim to be waterproof because literally none of them are, but this one actually is. Trust me when I say I've gone through almost all of them. Continuing with my eyes, I use a retractable eyeliner in black. This one is the e.l.f. Cosmetics one, which... It doesn't really matter which brand you use because they all do the same thing pretty much. I used to be obsessed with using white eyeliner for my waterline because it made my eyes look more cartoon-like, but the black is sophisticated, like it's giving dark and mysterious. The last thing I do in my makeup routine is my lips. The best thing that ever happened to me was brown lip liner making a comeback. Okay, I'm being dramatic, but for real, I love the way it makes my lips look bigger and fuller. Now, don't get me wrong, I adore a classic clear lip gloss as much as the next person but lip liner just does something to me. And the very last step that I do for my lips is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Oil. This is much better than lip gloss in my opinion because it's not as sticky, so I can wear this and reapply it throughout the day without it getting sticky. Like when I drink something through a straw or like take a sip of something from a glass, like it literally will not come off, so I love it. So there you have it, my everyday makeup routine, starting from skincare all the way through to finishing touches like mascara and lip products. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all have a wonderful, beautiful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!